Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about Seagate Backup Plus 2.5 inches set hard drive, the printed circuit board repair, and the disk data recovery. In this video, we are going to cover PCB swap, PCB firmware transfer, PCB repair, fix wrong size error, fix SMART error, fix firmware break, fix service area corruption, disk data recovery, PCB electronic circuit analysis, quick data recovery tips. Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about WD RAID NAS 8 terabytes hard drive the printed circuit board repair, and the disk data recovery. This video is going to cover PCB swap, PCB firmware transfer, PCB repair, bad sector recovery, modern WD hard drive data recovery, fix service area corruption, disk data recovery, PCB electronic analysis, quick data recovery tips. Part 1. Printed Circuit Board Repair How the hard drive printed circuit board works in a computer. The data is stored in the hard drive. The computer accesses the data through the hard drive printed circuit board. The schematic diagram of a hard drive printed circuit board. We use SATA hard drive as an example. This picture shows the schematic diagram of a hard drive and the basic components of the hard drive. The basic components are 1. PCB actuator contacts. 2. Cache. 3. BIOS. 4. Controller. 5. PCB SATA port. 6. PCB motor contacts. 7. Motor IC. How the printed circuit board, the hard drive, and the computer work together. This schematic diagram shows how the printed circuit board, the hard drive, and the computer work together. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. Fixing the hard drive printed circuit board method 2. The printed circuit board swap. 1. Find the correct donor board. 2. The printed circuit board firmware transfer. PCB board swap step 1. Find out the correct donor PCB board. Locate the hard drive model number on the front of the hard drive label. Find out the printed circuit board number of the hard drive. The picture 1 shows the printed circuit board number location of this model hard drive. Different printed circuit boards. The printed circuit board number locations are different. Picture 2 shows some printed circuit board number locations of the different PCBs. If you want to find out your own PCB number, you may go to www.hdd-parts.com, which lists most of the PCB information in detail. After find out the hard drive model number and the hard drive PCB board number, we use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive. 
but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. What is the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then, the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. Three things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. 1. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. 2. Hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It has nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. 3. We can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned, watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our printed circuit board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not do the printed circuit board firmware transfer? For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board firmware transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer cannot detect the hard drive. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB board's BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards. 
you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture shows how can we help you to find the donor PCB board for your hard drive. 1. Use your cell phone to take pictures of your hard drive and its PCB board. 2. Email the pictures to hddparts at gmail.com. 3. You will receive the donor PCB board information within 24 hours. Motor contact lose problem. Symptom. The motor can spin, but cannot reach its full speed. Cause. Lose motor contacts. Solution. Resolder replace the loose contacts or replace the PCB. Here is the sound from the loose motor contacts problem hard drive. Motor contacts lose problem. Symptom The motor can spin but cannot reach its full speed. Cause Lose motor contacts. Solution Resolder replace the loose contacts or replace the PCB. Motor IC problem. Symptom. The motor IC is overheat or the hard drive does not spin. Possible reason. The motor IC is bad. Solution. Replace the motor IC. Note. Replacing the motor IC only can fix the bad motor IC problem. If the hard drive PCB other part got problem or the hard drive itself got problem, replacing the motor IC will not help. How to fix a hard drive motor IC problem? 1. The bad motor IC problem symptom. The hard drive does not spin. There are many reasons to cause a hard drive to stop spinning. The bad motor IC is one of them. The bad motor IC may or may not have the burned mark on it. 2. Remove the bad motor IC. 3. Replace the bad motor IC with the new one. Part 2. Disk Data Recovery The Modern WD Hard Drive Data Recovery the modern WD hard drive room is locked. The following steps are how we unlock the room and perform data recovery. Step 1. Remove the room chip from the PCB. Step 2. Read the room and save the data as locked room data file. Step 3. Unlock the locked room data to an unlocked room data. We use PC3000 professional data recovery tool. Step 4. Write the unlocked room data to a donor room. 5. Solder the donor room to the original PCB. 6. Perform the normal data recovery. Disk firmware corruption. 
symptom. The hard drive spins fine, but the computer cannot see the hard drive, and even the software-based data recovery tools cannot see the hard drive as well. Possible reason, disk firmware corruption. Recommendation, try disk firmware repair tools like PC3000 or others. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk firmware corruption. It sounds like a good hard drive, but the computer cannot detect hard drive. This picture shows some basic pins and their functions. This picture shows some correct signals on the PCB board. This picture shows the important circuits on the printed circuit board for repairing purpose. This picture shows the motor driver chip schematic diagram for repairing purpose. This picture shows the motor driver chip schematic diagram for repairing purpose. This picture shows the hard drive circuit board schematic diagram for repairing purpose. This picture shows the motor driver chip schematic diagram for repairing purpose. This picture shows how to connect the USB only WD hard drive to SATA port. This trick is useful when the USB chip is broken or you want to bypass the USB controller chip to control the hard drive through the SATA port directly. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. <laughs>